Hi guys, I'm Alicia Klegel. Welcome to Empower Your Body. Today we're going to go over the importance of going for a daily walk, show you some great activities for your glutes, and also the benefits of meditation. Stay with us. Welcome back. Okay, fifth tip of the day is going for a walk. It's very important to go for a walk for many different reasons. If you already exercise, it's a great way to warm up or cool down. But if you don't exercise, it's a great way to start your day going for a walk. Remember, my intention is to get you guys up and moving as much as possible, safely of course. So start your day with a nice walk, 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever you can do to start. Of course, get clearance from your doctor, please. The health benefits are so, there are so many. Number one is it really helps to decrease your blood pressure. Stress hormones decrease as well. Kind of get that feeling of elation going through if you get your heart rate up. And did you guys know losing 10% of your body weight, which walking can help you do, actually decreases your chance of acquiring heart disease by 25%. That's a lot, guys, okay? So make sure that you start your day with a nice walk, and if it can't be in the morning, sometime at lunch, or even when you come home. And for more fit tips of the day, go to Twitter or Facebook.com. See you guys later. Hi, guys. The new section that we do our exercises is going to be called the Power Three. The reason is, is because the guy who helps me with all my videos is fabulous and came up with a great idea. <laughs> and also because it's going to be three exercises per body part. I promised you glutes, so your power three today is three exercises of glutes. In consecutive weeks, you'll have power three of other body parts. Okay, so let's get started. First one is going to be a one-legged squat. Please, of course, get cleared by your doctor. Make sure your knees and back are okay. This is an advanced exercise. You'll line your foot up a bit on a slant and you won't really know that angle until you go into one of them and you notice you're at 90 degrees. That's how you know the activity is lined up properly. Then you come up and exhale. Do not lock or jerk your body. Coming down, 90 degrees. I am not like this. Everybody does this, holds their body up. No. You're using your legs. Your hands are simply here so you don't fall back. Exhale up. Once again, you do not want your knees to go over your, over your ankles so you're not bending like this. Coming back, press the heel into the ground. Work the glute, let me tell you. You can feel it. Let's do three more. One, exhaling up, please. Two, three. Perfect. Next exercise. There you are. <laughs> Is the plyometric squat. Lunges and squats are most effective for the usage of your gluteus maximus, the engagement of the fibers. Let's do plyometrics. Dip nice and low, beyond 90 degrees, up and jump. Nice and low, up and jump. My knees are not coming in, up and jump. Again, up and jump, sink deep, real low. Again, we'll do two more, one, Two, perfect. Do about 15 to 20, making sure that of course your knees are okay. Next exercise, coming onto the floor. Just gonna do some hip thrusts. Up, exhale. Make it harder, keep your head up. Support your head. Down on the floor makes it easier because now you have some help with balance. Squeeze, guys. After the one-legged squats and the plyometrics, you really feel the burn here. Do maybe 20, 25. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. So those are three activities that you can do your power three for your glutes. For more information about glute activities, like I said, the lunges or the squats, go to the video's links below. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Now we're up to the Aspire Higher section of the show. What I'd like you guys to try to do daily is find time to focus on meditation. It doesn't have to have a negative connotation. Some people I know may think meditation, no, no, no. It doesn't have to be this whole elaborate 
specific part of your day. It just needs to be time that you focus on clearing your mind. Just become one with you. You go through your day, you hear horns, you hear emails, now on our phones, everything is on our phone. Just try to take some time to clear it out. Stay focused. It'll decrease the amount of stress that you carry, and who knows, you may actually feel better. So my suggestion is please take some time daily to focus on some kind of meditation, clearing your mind out. Let me know what you guys think right below. What do you do to clear your mind on a daily basis? I'd love to hear it. For more information, check out my blog at empoweredbody.com. I thank you all for viewing. Please subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Okay? Till then, bye-bye.